As DE duplicated this week, I was able to get my hands on the Stalker Incarnal Genesis loadout 6 weeks ahead of time. I'll dive into the set bonuses and showcase how to effectively utilize all 3 weapons to create a versatile loadout suitable for any mission type in Warframe. I particularly appreciate the option to benefit from set bonuses, and it's exciting to see the first iteration being incredibly well balanced. Each Stalker Incarnate Weapon can benefit from its own set bonus, even if you don't have all three Incarnate Variants. However, for this video, I was able to test the full potential of the Stalker set using the Incarnate Dread, Incarnate Despair, and Incarnate Hate. I carefully assessed each weapon's set bonus and decided to use them in their respective roles. The Dread as a heavy unit and crowd clearing weapon, the Despair as a primary weapon to complement the Dread and enable one shots on level cap Demolis and the 8 as a powerful standalone weapon with an EV attack build to swiftly deal with Acolytes, without interrupting the flow of Dread and Despair in canon form management. To embody the Stalker Ascent, I choose Ash, the closest Warframe representation we have. I utilize the Subsume and Mimph ability Xata's Whisper, which significantly boosts the damage output for both the Dread and the Hate. Utilizing Xata's Whisper, I don't even need to land headshots to one-shot level cap Demolis with the Dread. Speaking of which, I went for a pure Viral Damage build, to unlock the true essence of the Stalker, it's imperative to deal retreats, so I used a multi-shot critical chance on Minus Reload Riven, along with critical delay on Ash Smoke Shadow Augment. I further enhanced its critical damage with Vital Sense on Vigilante Supplies. I modded Galvanize Chamber for multi-shot on Galvanize Aptitude for its Condition Overload effect. And as I played the mission Kappa on Sedna, I modded Prime Bane of Grinier. The Incarnate Dread proved to be both powerful and enjoyable to play, however, I had issues stacking the Coup de Grace set bonus efficiently. If some of the arrows from Multishot fail to find their mark, the game treats it as a miss, resulting in the denial of any stack accumulation. To fully benefit from the set bonus, it becomes imperative for all arrows to successfully connect with the intended target. Therefore, unless you are pushing levels with the Dread, I recommend avoiding Multishot mods if you want to stack this set bonus. Hopefully, DE addresses this issue in the next update. As you witnessed, the Incarnate Despair did great as a priming weapon. Its Stalker's Vendetta set bonus provides extra multi-shot, and the 4th evolution Elemental Balance synergizes well with the Incarnate form, as the Despair knives explode for extra statuses. I modded my Despair with a classic priming weapon build, utilizing 2 fire rate mods to replenish its Incarnate Transmutation bar before each Dread kill. Lastly, I utilized the Hate as an Acolyte Killer, opting for a Corrosive EV Attack build, which capitalized on its set bonus, providing an initial combo counter. Alternatively, you can strip the Acolyte's armor and go for a Viral Condition Overload EV Attack build. However, to keep my Dread on Despair Synergy, I chose a Zero Setup build to get rid of Acolytes. Given its slow attack speed, I modded Prime Fury. I also modded Corrupt Charge, ensuring a 4x initial combo counter. I then modded Killing Blow on Prime Pressure Point for good base damage, and Amalgam Organ Shader on Sacrificial Steel to enhance its critical damage. I truly hope that DE addresses the issues with the Dread in the upcoming update, specifically resolving the impact of Multishot on the gain or loss of stacks for its second evolution. Additionally, it would be fantastic if they consider introducing more set bonuses similar to the Stalker set. 